Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's journal with me is a really special one. I am collaborating with lots of amazing and talented creators for Junk Journal January. It's a journal prompt challenge hosted by Meg Journals and in collaboration with Get Messy Art. Every day this month there is a new prompt and each day there will be a different creator sharing a video for the challenge. There will be a playlist linked in the description box below so you can find all of the videos really easily. So the prompt for today, day four, is tuck spot. So a tuck spot is very similar to a pocket, however a pocket is usually sealed on three sides, whereas a tuck spot is only sealed on one or two sides. It's essentially just a place where you can tuck something behind something else. At the beginning of the video, I shared the ephemera I have to add into my journal today. There is a receipt, some packaging and some photos. I'm going to be documenting about my Calamondin orange plant or tree. These photos were taken two years ago and I still have the tree today in my craft room but it doesn't seem to be doing very well at the moment so I wanted a record of it in my journal when it was thriving in case I end up killing it. So I've just trimmed down a vintage book page which I'll be using to cover up the dog and cat page on the right as it didn't really fit with the gardening theme I was going for. I want to add some washi tape down the centre of the pages just to make sure that book page doesn't come back up. And this one is one of the wide William Morris tapes. It's by the brand MT and I think the design was fruits so it went really well with this page. And because the tape was really wide I ended up trimming it down a little bit and I'm just using my bone folder to make sure that crease is nice and in the centre. So now I'm just playing around with all of my bits and pieces, my photos and ephemera and seeing where they're all going to fit on the page. I didn't want to go over more than one double page spread because I didn't really have a lot to document. So I pull out a couple of other bits I might like to use. So I've pulled out a journal card and a Tim Holtz flash card. I decided to use that journal card as my first tuck spot so I'm going to be stapling it down onto the page and I'm just using my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher to do that and I'm just stapling it on one side. And then I have this bright orange packaging piece and it came with the tree or plant and it has instructions on the back on how to care for it so I wanted to make sure I was able to remove it again if I wanted to. So I'm just going to be using a paper clip to clip it to the page and then I can remove it as and when I need to. I wanted to use that Tim Holtz piece as another tuck spot and I decided to extend the page to give me a bit more room as it was a bit shorter than the other page. I tried different pieces of paper scraps to see what looked best but I wasn't quite sure so I do move on and come back to it a little bit later. I have the receipt from when I bought the plant and I decided to trim it down a bit so I'm just trimming it down with my ruler and I play with it a little bit on the page seeing where I like it the best and in the end I decide I like it behind the tuck spot. I did trim this photo down a little bit because it was taking up too much of that page and I'm just having a little play and seeing if I want to use it as a pocket, tuck spot or whether I want to just stick it straight down but I was undecided. I decided that I liked this neutral paper scrap and that's what I'm going to use to extend the page a little bit. 
and I just trimmed it down with my ruler and I really like the soft edge it creates. I'm just using a little bit of double sided tape on the back of the paper scrap. And I'm also adding a little bit of washi tape at the top of that page. That's just off the bit that I cut off a little bit earlier. Because this Tim Holtz piece will be another tuck spot, I'm just adding some staples to the top of the flashcard. And now I've decided on what I'm doing with my photos, I'm just adding some double sided tape to the back of them. I like using double sided tape on my photos because it's nice and strong and it's not messy like a glue stick. I'm still undecided with this photo if I'm going to stick it straight down on the page, so I move on to something else. So I'm trimming down this book page from the beginning part of the video, and there was a piece of wording that I wanted to keep, and also a little picture of the Calamondin plant. So I'm having a little play around with these two pieces and seeing where I might like to put them on the page. So I tried them on the journal card that's stapled into the journal and I also try lots of other journal cards and some paper scraps and seeing what I like the best. And I finally made the decision to stick this photo straight down on the page and I've used double sided tape on the back of this photo too. I decided to add another staple to this flashcard piece so it's a touch spot that is attached on two sides but as you can see I stapled two pages together so I fixed that off camera and I'm restapling it. So that tuck spot is attached to the page on two sides and that other photo is just going to slip underneath the flashcard. Originally I was going to use that journal card to add my journal in but I realised I didn't really have that much to say. My main aim with this page was to record the photos of my Calamondin tree so I use it to add more information about the tree. This label spot at the bottom of the journal card is perfect for adding my prompt. Whenever I take part in a collaboration, I like to add the prompt somewhere on the page. It's just a little reminder that I took part in a collaboration and what my prompt was. So I'm just using my Tim Holtz alphabet stickers to spell out my prompt. And I had to get out a new sheet as I'd run out of the letter T's. And now I'm going to add some more decoration to the page and I like to do this using stickers. 
But first, this little piece of washi tape is the piece I cut off of the bigger piece that was used down the center of the pages, so it didn't go to waste. And this word sticker is by the Crepe Paper Maggie Holmes Flourish Collection. And I'm just adding some more stickers for decoration, so these are some photo corners and I thought it would make this photo stand out a little bit more. I did end up putting one on super wonky though. Just adding some writing to the page and the date I'm writing here refers to when I got the plant and is the picture with the photo corners. And the date I write on the opposite page is a few months later when the plant was thriving. I add a little piece of orange washi tape just to bring across more of that bright orange colour to this page. I found these orange stickers in the Maggie Holmes Market Square collection and I add one at the bottom of this page just to finish it off. And these are the finished pages. I'm really happy with how they turned out. Thank you so much to Meg for inviting me to be a part of this amazing collaboration. I hope you all enjoyed watching these pages come together and that it gave you some ideas of how you can take on this prompt in your own journal. I really recommend watching all the other videos in this journal prompt challenge for heaps of inspiration. The playlist will be linked below. Here is a closer look at some of the smaller details. I hope you're all doing really well. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.